Won't be told to someone the only show that gets uncomfortable in sunny weather. First question is from Empirical Mind. And he asks, um, what do you think Barack Obama and the UN should do to Vladimir Putin for his na naughtiness in the Crimea? Well, um, the thing about Crimea is it's full of Russians. It was full of Russians before before uh, Ukraine had to hand it over. Um, but then, but then, uh, um, uh, you know, they they didn't Crimea uh, like Russia uh, wanted Crimea, but uh, Ukraine also wanted Crimea. Except Ukraine had Crimea, but it was full of Russians. So the Russians had to take Crimea, uh, and they used uh, they used an anti-Russian rebellion in Minsk, which is part of Ukraine, but not cri part of Crimea. So uh, so uh, the 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 Ukrainians don't want to be part of Russia, and the Russia, the Crimeans don't want to be part of 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 Ukraine, and the Russians want uh, Crimea to be part of Russia. So they uh, put some uh, troops without any like Russian markings on and they just took everything that's what Putin does he he just takes stuff and he's already got like before he starts a fight he's already won because that's what Putin does he sort of he sort of plays with a, a stacked deck except the d deck was stacked by like Russians like back in the the Tsarist days and in the in the in, in the in the Stalinist days, and you know, so you know, he's he's very, yeah. You know, he, he managed to get uh, president of Russia. You know, he managed to steal Russia from everybody. He he stole Russia. I mean, he he wasn't supposed to be president like more than eight years, but then he just became prime minister. Uh, for eight years, after his first eight years, and then he became president again. And it's like, what do you do? What do you do? I, I, I'm president again. And, and, you know, that everything's fine, apparently. It's all nice and above board and kind of legal. Next question is from... Uh, 554F4. Why is there no app for that? Well, Putin's got the app. And he's not gonna, you know, because he's got, you know, all sorts of uh, patents on it. So, because he's a patent troll as well. I made that up. Next question is from the Naked Wombat. If the Ark held two of every kind, where are all the, ha where did they house sharks and jellies and all the fish, etc.? Well, they had all the fish um, outside. On the outside, uh, somewhere in the Bible, it said uh, that God uh, separated the waters from the waters and and some water was salt water and some water was fresh water and uh, I'm not going to read answers in Genesis anymore. I think I broke my brain. Jason the Cripple asks, when somebody loses their voice, where does it go? It goes, uh, you know, it, it, well, it's still there. It's still there. It just doesn't come out. It doesn't come out. It just it gets it gets strangled off and doesn't actually work anymore. The Gingerhead Man asks, "Dear Susan Abernathy, uh, when light waves enter our eyes, what happens to the photons that this light is uh, made from? And do the photons disappear? Well, they don't. They don't disappear. They just become, you know, stuff, pixies or something. I don't know. I, I've been reading too much answers in Genesis. Hello, world. Asks Boss Haas. Uh, DT, can you list off all the logical fallacies and give an example of each? Well, I can, but um, Answers in Genesis has got that covered anyway, so, you know, what, I don't need to bother. I mean, you know, it'd be an ad hominem say that they, uh, I don't know what that is. Next question is from Uber Goober. Dear DT, why is the time in Greenwich so mean? Well, uh... It goes like this, um, I'm doing stuff right now, but in the meantime, there's stuff happening in Greenwich, in London, and uh, um, it, it, there's always something in the meantime happening in Greenwich, London, so therefore, it's Greenwich meantime. I think that's what they mean. <sighs> and Hayley C. Phelps has a last question. It's not a question, it's a comment. You look and sound like a fag with a ginger minge. Ah oh, yes, that's... that's um, that's really, yeah, insightful. Hayley C. Phelps of the Westboro Baptist Church. She really said that on one of my videos. 
it was yeah it was really insightful I uh, except for the fact that uh, one of those things is wrong and uh, possibly two but I'm not saying which is wrong she'd have to find that for herself but she's not going to find that out for herself because uh, you know um, uh, my uh, ginger minge is she's not going to get into position to find out whether my minge is ginger or not because you know you uh not good oh oh and her brain isn't all that nice either oh dear oh dear oh dear oh I think I've got Minnie after that oh she's most unpleasant oh Anyway, that's it for Tell of Someone for this week. If you would like to, be, to ask me a question, of course, you can ask me down there somewhere. And uh, if you would like to buy a T-shirt, of course, you can also buy a T-shirt. Or you can make a video response and uh, put a link to that video uh, question in the uh, under place where I... Uh, in the ginger minge. That was your dovetail question for this week. I'm Dangerously Talented and I don't have a cool sign-off.